hello everyone thank you once again for joining me in today's video if this is your first time of seeing my face hello there my name is dara simi and thank you for joining me today it's been one year since i left nigeria to poland for my master's degree program how has the experience been for me so far is this something that is worth it if you're planning to move from your home country to another country for study purpose or for work purpose or for whatever purpose it is that you will be going to another country ensure that you watch this video to the very end if you've just migrated to a new country ensure you watch this video because you're going to pick one or two things or even ten things from this video also i'm going to make this video into two parts because with the way i'm saying it it might be a long video and i don't want to bore you guys out kindly support me by liking this video make sure you share the video also do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you're planning to study in the eu or poland specifically i have some videos up already and i'm also going to be uploading more videos even for people that does not have any intention in study in poland or the eu um first i would like to thank god i mean it has not been an easy journey coming all the way from nigeria to poland i'm grateful to god for how far he has brought me being away from home when i was in nigeria for my undergraduate study i was not at home but my university was not far from home so every weekend i'm always going home <laughs> every weekend i'm always going home because i attended a private university and so access to food you get what i'm saying so access to food is limited so you have to eat whatever is provided but because my house is not far from school so weekends sometimes i go home on weekends to make food but now that i am in poland <laughs> um so why did i choose poland okay right from my undergraduate days i knew that i was going to go for my postgraduate studies outside the country i did not want to go for my postgraduate study in nigeria i wanted to go for my postgraduate studies outside the country i want to see how it is done in other countries right and when i started applying to universities i started applying to uk universities so i started applying to universities in the uk and if i can remember correctly i applied to more than 10 universities in the uk i knew then when i was applying i was told to apply to 10 different universities so i applied to 10 different universities and then i think i applied to like some other universities in addition to that so i knew i applied to like more than 10 uk universities and i got admission in all of these universities but one thing that did not make me go was the um, monetary aspect because the study in uk is not rice and beans it is not something that comes cheap um studying in uk is expensive and it is not everyone that can afford that kind of money i remember applying like the last university i applied to um the tuition fee was twenty four thousand pounds for just a year and the deposit i was required to pay then was one thousand pounds so paying the deposit wasn't a problem for me but how will i get the remaining twenty three thousand pounds in a year working part-time jobs so i did not want to put myself in any difficult situation or put my family members or anyone in a difficult situation because i wanted to go for my postgraduate studies so i decided not to pursue that and while i was doing all this processing i applied to universities in the united states of america also and also canada because they have lots of funding opportunities but while i was still doing all of this thing while i was in all of this thing i did my research and i found out about poland so when i compared poland to the united kingdom to me i did not see any difference honestly aside the language I did not see any difference and since i knew that coming to poland i'm going to get the experience that i wanted with my postgraduate studies so i was like why not i chose poland basically because poland is more affordable as compared to the united kingdom and the likes affordability was one thing that made me choose um 
Poland and also the quality of the education that I was going to get. So I knew that the quality of education I was going to get compared to where I was coming from is just something to boast about, just something that is worth investing in. So that was why I decided, okay, Poland, here we come. If you're planning to go to a country to study, one thing that you should consider is the quality of education. That's one of the things that you should consider the quality of education you are coming to this country to pay even if you're on scholarship the fact that you are leaving your comfort zone the fact that you're living somewhere that you've been used to all your life and you are moving to a new environment entirely you need to put this into consideration that is it worth it am i going to get the quality of education that i want so for example if you are coming to study maybe a computer related course maybe for your course you need to code and then you know that this country that you are going to they will be writing programming language for you on the board it's not worth it just stay back where you are stay back where you are so you need to consider the country i'm going to will i get quality education will i get quality for what i'm paying for the other thing that is very important that you need to consider also is safety are you going to a place where your parents at all will not be worried where your loved ones will not be worried about your safety i remember when i got into poland i got to poland in the middle of the night i had to take um a boat ride to the train station so i could get to my city and i felt safe i felt safe i was not worried i was not scared so that is one thing that you need to consider also the quality of education you need to consider um the safety and you also need to consider transitioning so if you are someone that you are planning to go back to your home country to work you need to consider okay the certificate you are getting is it going to get you better opportunity when you go back to your country if you are planning to stay back how is the transitioning like is it somewhere that after graduating they will tell you that within one month if you don't have a job you need to go back is this something that okay if you decide okay i don't even want to stay in this country i want to move back to another country is this something that is going to be easy you need to put all of these things into consideration because you are investing your money and you don't want your money to go to waste for me i don't think it's something that is difficult i've done this over and over and over again so i have experience when it comes to finding the right school for your program so one of the ways you can find the right school for your program is via google search i made a video regarding this issue you can make use of google type in the degree you are going for and the country you are also interested in going to so you are going to see different options and one platform that i loved so much when i was in my school search was masters portal the platform is superb you can also make use of this platform when you are searching for school they also have phd portal for those that might be going for um doctorate degree the platform is awesome and there's this other website if you're planning to study in the eu i'm going to um, put the link in the description box so you can just check it out so whatever country it is that you are going in the eu the website can take you to the websites of the country and if you are planning to study in poland like i always say study.gov.pl is your um sure bet when it comes to websites in order to check for school in poland um, one of the things that you need to look out for when you are choosing your study program is your background where are you coming from i mean your undergraduate studies now you need to consider what you studied for undergrad before choosing a study program for your postgraduate study because if you are choosing a program that is related to what you study in your undergraduate study it's going to be easy for you to transition but that doesn't mean that you cannot change your study program so if you studied something let's say in the arts and you want to move into the sciences for your postgraduate study it is also possible but you are going to do a lot of work compared to someone that already has experience so let me tell you my own story so for my undergraduate degree i studied microbiology that was what i studied for my undergraduate degree and currently for my postgraduate study 
I'm studying food science. So for people that does not really know much about microbiology and food science and human nutrition, you might be wondering like, what is the correlation? During my undergraduate study, I did um, introduction to food science. I also did some courses related to food science, like HACCP, um, all this quality assurance of a thing. My undergraduate research was on food microbiology because I worked with food. I work with sweet potato and I had to work with microorganisms. Let me just put it that way. I don't need to go deeper into what I did. So all of these experiences for me, were something that accumulated into my interest in food science. I wanted to know more about food safety, but because I could not find like food safety as a course on its own, I did my research, okay, how can I learn more about food safety? How can I learn more about food microbiology? How can I learn more about all these HACCP quality assurance of a thing? And that was when I found, okay, food science, all these things are other food science. So that was why I went for food science. So transitioning for me from microbiology to food science wasn't difficult at all. During my waiting period, if you can put it like that, I also took online courses. So before I even came to Poland, I already took three online courses before I came to Poland. All of these things, all of these experiences for me made the transitioning easy. That was it. So if you are planning to transition from a field to another field, you need to do your research. What are the things that you need to do? Do you need to have a portfolio? Another thing you need to also consider when choosing a program of study is um, the job opportunities in that program. Going to a new country to study this course. So you need to know the job opportunities available after graduation. This course I'm studying, Will I get a job? Okay, if there is no um, certainty of getting a job in this field, what other skills can I learn that would get me a job when I get to this country? So those are some of the things that you need to consider before choosing a program. Don't choose a program just because you want to leave your home country. You need to plan all of these things. You need to plan everything before deciding which program you want to study. My school, the application process wasn't difficult, or should I say, I did not find it difficult because I've applied to tougher schools. I've done a lot. I mean, there are people that have done a lot more than I have done, but I'm not going to downplay the fact that I've also done a lot when it comes to this application process. I've written cold emails. I've requested for recommendation letter from my lecturers. I've written essays, personal statements, statement of purpose, diversity statements. I've written a lot, motivation letter, CV, cover letter. I've written a whole lot. So because of this experience that, that I've already had, it made the application process for my school a work in the park. To be honest, comparing the application of my school to some other applications that I've submitted, especially in the United States of America. You can say the application process was easy for me. So the things I needed to do was to go to the university website, check out their requirements. Are these the things that I have? Yes, I have all the requirements that they needed. And also by doing my own research, I was able to undo the application process and it was quite easy for me. For people coming to Poland, one of the requirements when it comes to application to Poland is that you have to um, authenticate your academic document and you also have to legalize it at the embassy. Before applying to my university, one of the requirements was legalization. So I knew I was supposed to do my authentication before legalization. So I reached out to my school and asked them that, can I um, submit my application without legalization? But when I'm coming into Poland, I'm going to bring the legalized document. And they gave me a go ahead. That was how I was able to jump over that step. And then when I went for my visa interview, I was able to legalize my document. So if you're going through any university website and you need clarification, they are the best person to ask. Thank you.